これがワノ国一の食いもんだおどうだうまいかThere is a lot that we have to prepare. I'll go through each component separately, and in the end, it will all beautifully come together, so stick around. We'll start by making some hanami dango. To a bowl, add 300 grams of silken tofu. Mix it until it's all crumbled. To that, add 200 grams of mochiko, also known as sweet glutinous rice flour. Mix it. And then fold it onto itself until it can hold itself together. Form it into a bowl and put it to the side for 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes have passed, we'll divide the bowl into three parts. We'll be giving each part a different color later on. Take one of the parts and roll it out into a sausage form. Then divide it into four different parts. Make balls out of the four parts. You should be left with four nice balls once you're done with it. Set them aside. Get one of the other parts of the dough. We'll add some green food coloring to it. Matcha powder would work fine too if you have it. Work the coloring into the dough, then repeat what we did earlier and form balls again. For the last piece of dough, We'll be adding purple food coloring. Red would work better, but I only add purple. Repeat the previous steps and form the dough into balls again. Now, get a pan and fill it with water. Bring this water to a boil. Once it's boiling, we'll put the dangos in. We'll start by boiling the white dangos. We won't boil all of them at the same time. This is because we don't want the colors to mix together. After about 10 minutes, the dangos should float to the top. Once that happens, get them out and put them on a plate. Once we're done with the white dangos, we'll boil the green ones. If you're done with that, we'll finally finish with boiling the purple ones. Once that's done, Set them aside and we'll go on to the next step. Get some bamboo skewers. I first wet the bamboo skewers in some water because otherwise they'd stick to the dango. We'll first put the green dango on the skewer. Follow this by the white dango. Finally, finish it with the pink dango. In Japan, each color symbolizes a different part of spring, which is really nice. With that, The hanami dangos are finally done. Next, we'll prepare the simmered daikon radish. To do this, we'll first need some daikon radish. Cut the tops off, and then cut the radish in half. Peel the radish halves, then cut the radish up into approximately 1 inch pieces. Then, we'll cut some excess into the radish. This way, The radish will absorb the stock better later on. Do this for all the slices. Get a pan filled with simmering water. Put the radish into the water until they become tender. For me, this took about half an hour. Once they're fork tender, get them out. The simmered daikon radish are now done. Next, we'll boil some eggs. Put some eggs into boiling water. I put mine in for about 4 minutes. Then, I put the eggs into some ice cold water so they don't overcook. Once the eggs are done cooking, 
peel the shells off, and then set them aside. We'll now prepare our fish cakes. I'm using store-bought fish cakes. They're quite easy to find in Asian grocery stores. I'll be using three types. Tofu fish cake, fish balls, and chikua. Cut the tofu fish cakes in half. Once that's done, we'll skewer the fish cakes with bamboo sticks. First, some tofu fish cake, then chikua, then fish balls, and lastly, another tofu fish cake. Get a pan filled with simmering water. We'll blanch the skewers in the water to get rid of any bad tastes. After three minutes, get them out and set them aside. Aside from the skewers, I also got some fish cake I'll put throughout the soup, so I'll bench them now so we can use them later. Now we'll prepare some dried kombu. Get a bowl in which you can put the kombu. Then pour some boiling water onto it. After about 40 seconds, the kombu should be rehydrated and malleable. Get it out. To decorate the soup, I tried to shape the kombu into a sort of nice shape. I made a knot with it, which wasn't that hard. I also got some shirataki noodles for the soup. These are already pre-made. They're quite easy to find in Asian grocery stores. They don't have a long cooking time, so all we'll do is give them a quick blanch in simmering water for about 2 minutes and then we'll take them out. Next, we'll prepare aburage. These are mochi filled deep fried tofu bags. You can use store bought mochi, but I couldn't find any, so we'll make our own. To make our mochi, we'll start by adding 1 cup of mochiko to a bowl. Follow this by a quarter cup of sugar. Mix them together. Once they're nicely mixed, we'll slowly add a cup of water and mix them together while adding the water. Once everything is nicely mixed, we'll put some plastic wrap onto the bowl and microwave the bowl for one minute. After the minute has passed, get the bowl out and mix everything up again. Then, put the wrap on and microwave it for another minute. Then, with a wet plastic spatula, mix it up. Make sure that the plastic spatula is wet, because otherwise it will stick. Then, microwave it one last time, but this time only for 30 seconds. Mix everything up until it's nicely homogenous. Next, get a piece of parchment paper. Dust it down with cornstarch. Put a lot of cornstarch because the mochi is very sticky. Put the mochi onto the paper. Then, dust the top of the mochi as well. Get a rolling pin and roll the mochi out. Unfortunately, my battery had died here, but after rolling the mochi out, I cut it up into smaller pieces like these. Now, we'll need some deep fried tofu bags, also known as Inari Age. We'll cut the bags in half. The bag should be hollow on the inside, so perfect for filling. Get a piece of mochi and put it into the bag. Since we'll put the bags into soup, we'll need to somehow close them. At first I tried closing them with toothpicks, which can work, but then suddenly I realized I can use the kombu from earlier and close them with that, which worked perfectly. Once the bags are closed, the nariyage filled with mochi are done. Most of the preparation for the soup is now done. Before making the stock, I'll just slice some green onions to use as garnish later on. We'll now make some dashi stock for the soup. Add 1 liter of water to a pan. To this water, add 10 grams of kombu. Bring it to a light simmer. You don't want the water to boil, otherwise the kombu will get slimy. After about 5 minutes, add 1 cup of bonito flakes. Let it all simmer for about 15 minutes. Strain it all through a mesh sieve. Now, we've made some delicious dashi stock. 
Pour the dashi stock back into the pan and bring it to a light simmer. Add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce followed by 1 tablespoon of mirin. Mix it all up. What I'll do now is optional. I'll add a tablespoon of shiro miso paste to the stock. I love the taste that it brings, but you can skip it if you want. Mix it all up. The stock for the oden soup is now done. We finally made all components for our oden soup. The only part I'm missing are the konyaku, but I couldn't find those anywhere sadly. We'll now bring all the parts together. Bring the pan to a high heat and start by laying down the simmered daikon radish to the bottom. After about a minute, add stock until it's nicely submerged. Then I added the different types of fish cakes throughout the soup. I followed this up by two boiled eggs. Then the aburage filled with mochi. The fish cake skewers. Then the dango skewers. After that the shirataki noodles. Then the kombu piece. And finally some green onions as garnish. Close the lid and bring the oden to a furious boil. Once the oden is boiling, remove the lid. You want the oden to be boiling hot, because as we all know, Now that the oden is boiling hot, it's finally done. So now we can start plating and then tasting. I put the oden into a soup bowl. I put in a little bit of everything so that we can get a good taste. It's now time to taste. I think that the stock for the oden soup turned out amazing. I love the shirataki noodles, the daikon radish and the eggs as well. Now I wasn't a big fan of the fish cake to be honest. It's just a personal preference but I don't really like fish cake. I didn't like the kombu either. The aburage we made turned out amazing. I really loved it. To finish off, the dango was also very nice, though they were a bit on the large side. I can tell you it's not a very pleasant feeling to have a 2 inch ball in your mouth, but aside from that I love the soup overall. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Anyways, thanks for watching and see ya!